various webinars covering a wide range of topics. And lucky, lucky you, you might even stand a chance to win an exclusive prize in tonight's session. Well, joining us here tonight is the godfather of stand-up comedy in Malaysia, a father of three children and a loving husband. Though, according to him, we might need to reconfirm that with his wife. So, yeah, whatever, right? Anyway, a name that needs no more further introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you, Harith Iskandar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how is everyone doing? This is Satya Virtual X. Thank you very much for that wonderful introduction, uh, Azmar. Uh, for everyone's information, my name is Harith Iskandar, and I am actually currently uh, standing in the Joke Factory, which is my stand-up comedy club in public car. But uh, we are, we're all in the new norm. It's all about virtual. Um, uh, you can be somewhere, I can be somewhere else, and we can be communicating. Uh, for example, just to let you know that uh, uh, wherever you are tonight watching on your device, wherever you are, let me know wherever you are because I am following the chat group uh, right here. So uh, I, I can already see some people saying hi. Hi, Yen Chin. Hi, Ying Li. Shireen Chen, Cindy Gan, Michael Lau, Shireen Chong, Jenny Teo, Si Zin Kwa, Jenny Do. Wow. Got too many, so many people are already commenting. This is exciting. This is great. I can't wait to communicate with all of you. So we're in the new norm. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know where you are watching on your device. Are you are you um, uh, sitting in, at home in your car? Are you in uh, Kuantan? Are you in Rawang? Are you in Australia? If you're watching, uh, let me know where you are. I will be commenting. I will be reading the comments on the side here as well as uh, talking to you, so I'd, I'd love some interaction. It's all about the new norm. Thank you. Hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, how's your MCO been, or your RMCO, or your CMCO, your CRMCO, or your CCRM, whatever whatever MCO you are in, I hope you are safe and well. Um, the date today is August 15th, and this is an amazing occasion, so uh, I hope that you guys have been following all that's been happening over yesterday, the 14th and 15th, and continue to watch tomorrow on this Satya Virtual X. This is an amazing, amazing event. I mean, I, I myself have been online following all the different rooms. If you guys checked out all the different rooms, take some time. Don't, don't, don't check out the different rooms now. Right now, you're in the auditorium. You're watching me. Stick with me, at least for the next hour or so. But uh, go check out all the other rooms in the auditorium, the international rooms, the local rooms, the chat rooms. It's all going down and you can get all your questions answered on wherever you are in those rooms. So this this really is amazing. So I uh, just want to just going to respond to some people right now. So Alvin is from Singapore. Alvin, Singapore. How's your what is it called in Singapore? Is it called the um, what did they call it? The. Uh, uh, what do the circuit breaker? Have you guys unbroken your circuit yet in Singapore? What are the restrictions? Let us know, Alvin. Joyce, yup. Greetings from Penang. What's up in Penang? Joyce, yup. I love Penang. I'm looking forward to going back to Penang. Uh, I know that Penang is now very crowded because everybody's gone on holiday. The moment they announce the RMCO, everybody shut off on holiday, right? So. And most of it in, in Penang as well. So I'm going to hold off for a moment before I head to Penang. But I absolutely love Penang. So, guys, tonight what I'm going to be talking about is uh, the session has been called Parenting in the New Normal. Okay? So uh, those na those words put together sort of sound a bit jungle, sound a bit strange. Like parenting, new normal. What is the new norm, the new normal? I'm sure you've all heard this term already, the new normal. The new normal. Oh, we're going to be going to the new normal. It's become the new normal. Everything has become the new normal. But it's become part of our vocabulary. And what does it actually mean? It, well, it actually means is whatever has happened before, as in Malaysia's case, whatever happened before March 18th, not going to happen again. Everything has become different. Everything has become out of the box. Everything has become strange. But given time, those strange, out of the box, different things become normal. Hence, the new normal. So, 
that's what it's all about. And uh, for the next hour or so, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about parenting in the new normal. So hello from Redang. Zi Yin Kwa, you're watching from Redang. You are on an island on holiday, I presume, and yet you're here with us watching Sitio Virtual X. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Why? Redang not happening, is it? What's going on in Redang? What? Not the uh, sunset not good enough for you? You have to be engaged in this new normal of watching something on your device. But thank you so much. That's amazing. That's great. But I, I do hope you're having a great time in Redang. Okay, so Etan is also watching from KL. Right, let's get back to the topic. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, I am a father, of course. Uh, well, not of course, but yes, I am a father. I've got three kids, Xander Zane, eight years old, who's was somewhere around here with me. Uh, Xander Zane, eight years old. Alexandra Zane, uh, Alexandra Jane, six years old. And Zidane Zane, four years old. So that's eight, four, and six. So um, young children, parents of young children, if you're watching, say hey, type in hey, I've got young kids, tell me how, how young your children are. So uh, I am what you would call a, a new parent in a new normal. I'm not new, new. Like they're not babies, but uh, definitely what I am going through right now is uh, parenting style in the new normal. Now, uh, I don't know how old your children are, if you have children, but basically what it is right now or what it has been since March 18th, since we went into the MCO, uh, for me has been about having my kids at home. Right. So usually my kids and all my kids go to school, different various levels of school, but Basically, you know, from a Monday to Friday, they head out of the door at about 7 a.m. Uh, and, you know, they don't come back till 3, 3.30 p.m. And that's pretty normal. And the only time uh, they're at home most of the time or all day is during a holiday. But right now, since March 18th, they have all three been at home. And we have been experiencing e-learning, learning on the Internet. Has that been happening to you? With your kids, if you have kids at school, have you been going through the e-learning situation? If your kids have been at a school or some uh, of, a, of a school going age, I'm sure you'll be going through some e-learning situations. I, so I've had three kids at home e-learning. Three kids. Three. Which means I've got to have three devices because they all got e-learning at the same time. So I've got three devices. I had to find three devices. I had to find three devices. So once again, parenting, new normal. Let me just check. Ristina Das, age 1.5 and 4.5 little monsters. Haha, <laughs> that's very funny. Okay, there we go. What? Oh yeah, I've got, I've, I've got my. Did you see my guy running across? This is all technically. Ristina, I'm gonna get back to you in just a second. I just, I just wanna. I completely forgot something. I'm gonna admit, as a parent, I forget stuff. That's what I do. If you're a parent. You know what I'm talking about. I forgot to let you know that we have a competition running. And if you are watching this uh, streaming event, then you are eligible to be part of the competition. What is the competition? I'm going to give you a question in a moment, and I want to find the best answer. And what is the question? Here is the question. What have you done in the new normal? What have you done in the new normal? And the best answer to this question will win a Samsung, or I, I, what have you done in the new normal parenting? Okay, see, <laughs> my brain is fried, Bzzz, completely fried. What have you done in the new norm of parenting? So here is a question once again, let us rewind. I'm rewinding. What have you done in the new normal of parenting? I repeat, what have you done in the new normal of parenting? Best answer will win a Samsung Note 20. Oh. So how do you qualify? Just answer the question. Even if you're not a parent, I'm sure some of you are going to answer that question. What have you done in the new normal of parenting, right? Now, I don't know. Maybe we're going to have to check on the winner to see whether that winner has children. I don't know how they're going to do that. But who cares? 
It's a free Samsung Note 20. What have you done in the new normal of parenting? S type your answers out in the chat here. Type your answers out, Ristina. You are, is it right, Ristina? Ristina Das, you are in the running. Type your answer out. What have you done in the new normal of parenting? And you could win a Samsung Note S20. I will be declaring the winner at the end of this session. Let's get back to things right now. So Ristina's got a 1.5 and for four and a half year old. Okay. What did I do? I, number one, I had to get three devices uh, to have this online teaching session. And guess what? Although the parents, and I know your parents out there, you may have been going through the same thing. We are at home now supervising our children for more than half a day. Am I right? Am I right? Right? Well, technically, we are meant to be continuing our work process. So all normal, we're at work. Teachers are handing the kids. New normal, kids at home, online learning, coming to us, going, Daddy, 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 my computer not working. Daddy, 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 how, how come I cannot log on? Daddy, Daddy, and I'm like trying to do my work, and I'm trying to handle them. And I can tell you, the first couple of weeks was hell. Oh, oh my God. Were you going through the same thing? Let me, okay. If you were going through the same thing, let me know. So, Jung Xiang Wong says, I rent a new place so that I can work in peace. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! Is that your answer? Parenting in the new You actually managed to rent a new place so that you could work in peace. Brother, <laughs> you are a champion, brother. Champion. I wish I could have done that. Oh, now I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Xiang Wong, I am jealous of you. CB Lim said he's done some online coaching. Well done, CB. I'm going to have to come to coaching with you. Okay, so what did I do? Parenting in the new normal, we've got, well, if you were lucky enough to be able to rent a separate place so that you could do your work in peace, fantastic. What did I have to do? I had to, in my case, re-examine my time. Now, we all have the same time, right? Everybody's got the same 24 hours. So for the first two weeks, I was like, oh, my God, I can't do this. I have no time to handle all this. I'm supposed to be working and handling three kids. Oh, and I thought that it's gone all over my head and I will not be able to do this. All it took, or rather, I wouldn't say all it took. In my case, what I had to do was I had to re-examine my relationship with time. Now, what does that mean? It's not that I'm seeing time on the side and my wife doesn't know. I'm not re-examining that relationship with time. What I was doing was I was looking at, okay, how do I treat time? Because right now, as the kids were in e-learning, from about 8.30 in the morning till about 1 in the afternoon, 1.30 in the afternoon, my kids were all constantly in my face about something happening with their online coaching. So in my head, I'm oh, oh, that's 6, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 1.30, 1.30, 1.30, that's five hours taken away from me. So what I had to do was actually force myself or rather look at myself and how I could work better with time. So I'm not losing five hours. I'm just seeing how I can work better with that five hours of my time. So what I did basically was I uh, just a couple of tips. I had a new relationship with time. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get up a little bit earlier. I'm going to set up the computers a little bit earlier. I'm going to pre-print whatever things I needed to do. And then I'm going to set up my station, my workstation, a little closer to where the kids were and allow myself X amount of minutes to go and handle what I needed to handle with them if they disturb me. And instead of allowing that, those my kids to irritate me or disturb me. Why, why do you have to keep disturbing me? I just accepted that as part of my daily challenge. Because how long... Have you ever been in work and you planned your day and then suddenly you realize something happens like you got a flat tire or you run out of petrol or, you know, someone passes away. You got to go in you know, for a condolence visit. These are things that happen along the way which disrupt you. Now, all you can do, you can either say, oh, my, my life is disrupted. I was not planning for it. Or you can acknowledge it, accept that relationship with something that has disrupted you and make it part of the day. So that's all I did. I make that five hours with my kids online studying part of my day and got on with work, basically, not allowing it to disturb me. So there you go. What have you done in the new more parenting to, to win a Samsung Galaxy Note 20? Okay. Hold on. Kenneth Chan says, 
finding the cutest mask so that he and she is willing to wear it. Oh, so Kenneth, you had issues with getting your kids to wear masks. So you had to find the cutest mask. What? Can you help me out here? What cute mask did you find, Kenneth? I'd like to know. Yao Li Yi, your, your long, let me get your name right. Your Lung Wong said, I decided to buy a house at City Waris and Tropica to give my children a perfect place to study, play, and live. <laughs> oh, pandai angkat, ah, ya long. Banyak bagus, you angkat. Very good, brother. Very good. But of course, nothing further from the nothing further from a dislike. That's absolute truth. Get a place where you can study and work at the same time. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, there we go. Let me see. How did you spend your time during MCO with your kids, Harith? Shireen Chen would like to know. Well. Here's the thing. For the last five months, I have spent more time with my kids, uh, relatively speaking, than I ever did before. And uh, how did I spend my time with them? Like I said, the first five hours a day from 8.30 to at least one was generally handling uh, or, or allowing them to be in their e-learning and working out time with them. Uh, and of course, if, as, same like everybody else, the first what was for three, four weeks, we were completely at home. We were not allowed even to go out of the house. You couldn't even go jogging out of the house. So you had to stay in your environment. And granted, most people's environments are not as nice as some of the uh, properties from Satya and Satya Eco, but you, everyone does what they could. Everyone does what they can. Uh, in my particular case, uh, I, I started a little charity project called the Hope Branch with my wife, uh, helping out, um, supporting underprivileged families and stuff like that. And what I did with my kids, I helped them be part of it. I got them helping on the packing, on the wrapping, on, on you know, gathering the food and preparing the meals to go out. So that's how I actually spent some time with my kid. John Wick says I lost my dog. No, I'm, am I supposed to laugh? I'm supposed, John Wick lost your dog. All right, so this is either a very, very sad story or an amazing parody. I'm not quite sure which it is, but thank you, John Wick, for watching, uh, taking some time out from shooting people and killing everyone. Thanks for watching, Sitya Virtual X. And I'm sorry you lost your dog. Have you looked under the toaster? Dogs like to hide under toasters. I, I don't know whether that's a joke or not, but uh, did John Wick lose a dog, really, in, in the films? He did, right? He lost the dog. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I because I think I saw one movie. I, the, how many? There's been four films? Three already. <laughs> I like it. John Wick. I like it. That's the thing with humor. Brilliant humor, guys. Thank you. John Wick. Keanu Reeves behind the scene watching. So, parenting and the new normal. Let's get back to the topic. I don't know. I'm just like veering off and we're having so much fun here. Once again, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 to be won. What have you done in the new normal parenting? Best answer wins. I'm inclined to give it to John Wick right now. I think that's a pretty good answer. Lina Mohabano agrees with me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So what else? Have, yeah. Parenting in the new norm. So number one was e-learning. Number two. Here's what I found um, different about parenting. The more time you spend with your kids, it, you, the more you will find how irritating they are. Chill. Chill. Relax. It's a joke. I'm in the joke factory. This is, I don't know if you, you can't see where we are right now. I'm in the joke factory. It's a comedy club. I'm on stage. I'm holding a microphone. It's a joke. Relax. So, yeah, here's the thing, though. You know, uh, I've got three wonderful kids, but kids ask questions, right? My eight-year-old, my six-year-old, and my four-year-old ask a lot of questions. And having them at home 24 hours a day, where I'm at home 24 hours a day, I get more questions. And they don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop the questions. It's a journey song which never got released. They don't stop. Daddy, I, I wake up in the morning, my son, Xander, starts the day with a question. Not even good morning, he starts the day with a question. Today was, uh, 
Yeah, Daddy, how come caterpillars have so many feet? Now, in the old days, I don't know how old you are. When I was young and we asked our parents questions, they lied to us all the time because parents can give you any answer. And as a kid back in the day, you had no idea of knowing whether it's true or not. I would ask my dad, Papa, I said, what's the, you know, what's the tallest mountain in, the, in Malaysia? He would say, the Umgakur mountain. And I had no idea of telling. Nowadays, kids have the device. They've got Google answering all the questions for them. So you cannot lie to them. So I have had questions upon questions from my kids all day long. What have I done? I've turned it into a game. It was like, I just got, every time my kids ask a question, I say, I don't know. I have no idea. Let's look at Google. And we answer the question together. But don't believe Google all the time because sometimes Google also don't know what you're telling. Okay, there you go. Serena Tan says, meditation to find my inner peace. Um, Serena Tan has been meditating to find her inner peace. Here's my question, Serena. Do you find or not? Well, find the inner peace. And when you find the inner peace, do you ask inner peace, hey, inner peace, why are you inner? Why are you don't outer? Outer needs more peace sometimes. Why you hide so far inside? But that's the thing, though. No, I'm not, I'm not making fun of it. That's the thing. It, it is actually important to take some time once. I, I know it may be impossible in some cases, but it is important to take some time to just take a breath. Just chill. Just If you're able to, just let it calm the mind down. Stop that inner voice. All of us have inner voices. You know what the inner voice is? The inner voice is when you're, when you're alone and you're not talking and you're just like looking off into space. By the way, did you see that internet story of that Indonesian guy who uploaded a YouTube clip where he just stares into space? Did, how long did he stay into space? He just stared two and a half hours or something and uploaded onto YouTube. Millions of views, just millions. You know what? You know what that means? Millions of people have nothing better to do in life. That they had the time to click onto this YouTube. And, and do not, do not log off now and go check out YouTube and find this out. Okay? Wait till after the whole Satya Virtual X events are over tomorrow. Then go and waste your time because this is a time of value. My God, I don't even know why I started that story. So here we go. Cindy Koo says, to show any show that, that any show so that you can get money for being a parent. Any show so that, you mean, you want to create a show that you can money being a parent? I, I don't know. I, YouTube, I guess, is start your own channel. Rizwan Hashim says, saya berkemah dalam rumah bersama anak-anak saya. Did you literally, Rizwan, berkemah dalam, did you, like, did you open up a tent in your house? I bet you did. I bet you did, because I was actually thinking of doing that. Like you open up a tent and you're like, Jom, kita pergi camping, brother. Kita camping. And the kids like, oh, camping, camping. Tapi kena ada kipas, kena ada aircon sebab camping kat luar tu, nyamuk. Teruk tu. I'm, I, I, I don't like nyamuk. Good. Lim, Lina, have you and kids ventured into endorsing health products or gloves? Good products with good share price too. Wah, Lina, sounds like you're making me a pitch right here. All right? That's who's making money, though. Gloves. Gloves companies are making money, though. Fantastic. Rizwan Hashim is sebab tabli keluar. Exactly. Okay. I'm just scrolling a little bit here. Okay. The, yeah. What was I talking about? Yeah. So, some of the answers coming through. Reminder, Samsung Galaxy Note 10. What have you done in the new normal, the new parenting? As a parent, what have you done? Win a phone. So, like I was saying, Another thing that I've been doing is just been answering questions, which required inner peace, by the way, Serena. Thank you very much to answer that many questions. And I just have to admit, in front of my kids, I don't know all the answers. My boy Xander is here right now. Exactly. Xander, you want to come up here? Come. Xander, come. In case some of you are thinking, nah, like he don't have kids. I got kids. This is Xander. Come over here, Xander, just to show you, to show you I'm being authentic. This is my boy Xander. Xander, come on. So this is Xander. How old are you, Xander? I'm eight. Can you sound more excited, Xander? Just like, sort of go, I'm eight years old. Xander, how old are you? I'm eight years old. <laughs> what are you eating? Never share. 
I, I told you, sharing is caring, Xander. Okay? Is it nice red bean bun? No. Okay, so how... Let's get let's get let us get it from, straight from the kid's mouth. The MCO, you've been at home since March 18th, five months. How how has that been for you? Um, very hard. Why? Very hard. Why? Why has it been hard for you? I do a lot of homework. You do a lot of homework. Is that hard for you? Which part of the homework is hard for you? That I have to do it every day. That you have to do it every day. Okay. Have you have you enjoyed? Having being at home every day with with uh, with us, you know, mom and me. Yeah. 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 You. But now you're going to go back to school soon, right? Are you looking forward to that? Yes and no. Yes and no. Which part are you looking forward to going back to school? Seeing my friends. Seeing your friends. With your friends. Which part you are not looking forward to? Doing homework and work. It's a typical Iskander boy. Just want to do homework and work. All right, Xander, say goodbye to. Do not don't look at the the laptop. There's a little bit of a lag there. Look at the camera. Say good. Say goodbye, everyone. Say say thank you, Sitia, for watching Sitia Virtual X. Thank you, Sitia, watching Sitia Virtual X. Well done. All right, thanks, Xander. Give me a high five. Rocking it. Thank you. So yes, I did not pay some kid to come up here. That is actually my son, uh, eating a red bean. So there you go. My daughter is five. Shireen, so uh, would you like to set up your daughter with my son? Xander, you like younger girls? Your age, she's five. You think that'll work? You don't know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm glad you don't know what I mean. Because if you did, I'd be a little bit worried. All right, so Chiang Chun Weng says, I swapped roles with my wife. Oh, this is interesting. I quit work and stayed home while she went to work. Because I cook tastier food and she earns bigger bucks. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Shen Wong, I love the honesty. Uh, that is uh, absolutely awesome. And why not? Why not? Indeed, right? Let let your wife earn the bigger bucks and you cook tastier food. You know what? You're almost like me. My wife can earn the bigger bucks, but she also can cook better than me. So. I'm like 50% of you, Chen Wong. But that is an awesome answer. That is almost in the running to win the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Boys will be boys, City, Norshida, Ruslan. Yes, it will. CB Lim says, counting the number of monkeys invading my banana trees. They are the only authorized animal that can get out from the jungle without getting a summon from the police. We have some comedians in the house tonight. This is so much fun. Seriously. I love the sense of humor. So CB Lim had monkeys stealing. CB, what you got? You got banana trees in your garden and monkeys were coming in, stealing it. And they were coming out without getting police permit. Apalah ni monyet ni. Tak ada police permit. Datang dia. Saja ambil pisang ni. Apalah. Eh, eh, le. Okay. Christine Lee says, Make full use of stay-at-home time to fully bond and enjoy every precious minute of my toddler's company. Ah, oh, Christine. How old is your toddler? By toddler, like sc crawling toddler, every precious moment. Christine, enjoy this moment. Enjoy this moment until they start shouting at you and they leave home. I'm just joking because I don't. I've not even reached that stage yet. My kids still want to spend time with me. But yeah, you're right. Enjoying every precious moment with those you can. Z, Z Yinkwa says I could sleep in later because I don't have to fetch my kids to school anymore. <laughs> Yinkwa, good point. Yeah. So, what a great way of looking at it. Looking at a situation. Looking at a problem. Looking at something that is disruptive, flipping it over and deciding it's better because I don't have to wake up earlier to send them to school. Oh my God. What, yin, yin, yin kwa? That is brilliant. What you have done is that you have got a, a different point of view. You've looked at something from a different point of view. You've taken a different understanding. You've taken a different experience from the same thing. You're just experiencing it differently. Instead of going, oh, the new normal is really screwing me up. You have gone, 
I don't have to wake up as early because I don't have to take them to school. I can get my extra 30 minutes in bed. Change of perception, change of mind, change of the new normal. Exactly, Yinkwa. Absolutely awesome. Guys, this is really fun. I love the comments. I love the the feedback that's coming on. Tell a friend to go and register and watch now, not just for now, but for after this, for 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 what's happening tomorrow on this um, Virtual X event. Just t t tell everyone about the City of Virtual X event and how much fun it's going to be. And I'm really enjoying all the, the comments that are coming in. So parenting in the new normal for me, like I said, so I, uh, first of all, had to experience e-learning and then I had to experience the constant questioning. Now, here's what I'm thinking might happen next. My kids are going back to school next week, actually. Um, I might find that I've missed, I'll be missing them because I've had them at home for five months. Uh, and I may, I may myself be going through some, some withdrawal period about not having them, about having to wake up early, Yin, Yin Juan, is that right? And, and, and having to, to handle what I thought was the old normal has now become the new normal. Okay, so let me just check out. Candy Lee, I still need to pay for school fees even though I am the one staying by the side and teach them to complete all their homework instead of the teachers. Candy Lee, high five. Just high, high five at the camera. High five your screen, Candy. I'm with you. Just like, just do that. Yes, yes. So we've, uh, as parents, have continued to pay the school fees if you have to pay school fees uh, for your children. Although you end up at home, coaching and teaching them. Now, not going to get into any argument or not going to get into any discussion, but uh, yes, this has become part of the new normal. This has become what we parents can gripe about. How I consider it is, you know what? The whole world is collapsed. The whole world is suffering. Uh, I can make a big deal about this, or I can change my point of view, change my perception, and see that, you know what, there's a lot of people out there who've got a lot, a lot of people don't even have food to eat on a daily basis, you know. They're not complaining about school fees. Yeah, I know it's a little bit extreme to compare that, but that's how I do it. I just say, you know what, everyone's going through something. This is what I'm going through, but someone's got it worse. So that's how I look at it. Okay, Shiva, Shiva Shan says, how do you spend, how do you spend some alone time with your wife with your kids in tow? Good question, Siva. Good question. Um, well, my kids are pretty good to a certain point because I can actually say say to them, because you know they, they understand, like, mommy and daddy, we're going to have one hour of peace. I have a little game with them. I say, who can keep quiet for one hour and not knock on our door? You get two stars. Collect enough stars, and when the MCO is over, I'll buy you a present. It's a bribe. I know it's a bribe, but it works. Malaysia bully. That's how I do it, Siva. I don't know how about you, but that's how I do it. Okay. Lina Mo says, teach my kids to appreciate friends and Sadaramara that they cannot meet during MCO. Told them how boring our lives will be without them. So start being good to people after the pandemic is over. Wow, Lina. Reverse the psychology. Huh? So you were not able to see Sadaramara. So sort of explaining to the kids, see, MCO, tak boleh jumpa. So remember to appreciate them. Yes, that is great. Appreciate those you cannot see. Of course, the new norm now is everybody's on virtual meets. You can meet on, on Skype. You can meet on uh, Google Meets. You can meet on Microsoft. You can meet on Zoom. You can meet on Facebook. You can have those moments. But you're right. There's something different about face-to-face. -face. I really appreciate that now, uh, being able to meet face-to-face. -face. In fact, I'd like to meet all of you face-to-face. -face. Yeah, what you do, come to the Joke Factory. <laughs> Saw that? I slipped that in. All right, there you go. Okay. Do you joke with your kids, Harith? I wonder. Shirin Chen. Xander, do I joke with you? He's taking too long to answer. He thinks so, but 
Oh, no, you you think so? But although you don't tell me that you're joking. So no, yeah. My, so my kid jokes with me. What Shireen wants to know is, do I joke with you? Do I tell you jokes? Yes. So I only tell him jokes if he asks me to tell him jokes. So I basically, it doesn't come spontaneously from me, right? You need to ask me. Yeah. So Shireen, I think, wants to know because she thinks I'm funny all the time. I'm not, right? No, my son just went, no. The honest truth from an eight-year-old. So that answers your question, Shireen. Isaac says, Harith, how do you solve an argument between your kid and your wife? Either one is your lover. Okay, I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm not reading this one correctly. How do you solve an argument between your kid and your wife? Either one is your lover. I'm not going to make a joke about that. I, <laughs> how do I, you, you mean my kid is arguing with my wife? Zandi, do you, do you argue with mommy sometimes? Yes? Because why? Yes. So my son has learned to play 21 recently, blackjack. And he's such a lucky charm. He gets 21 all the time. So when he plays with his mommy, the mommy says he's cheating. And he says, I'm not cheating. And they get into this little argument because mommy cannot lose. Mommy hates losing. And she loses to Xander all the time. He's my lucky charm in 21. I'm going to be bringing him. Okay, there we go. Yin Kwa says, Harith, do you lie to your kids sometimes? My kid is sitting there, so I'm going to say no. He just said yes. I do. do I'm sorry. You know what? You cannot stop a child from being honest. Thank you, Xander. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you're, you're right, actually. You are absolutely right. And I, I should not be doing that. Yeah. Sorry? It's okay. Oh, my boy is... Oh, there's a lot of honesty going in. Thank you, Xander. I, I like that. Lena asks, Alex cannot differentiate whether you tell jokes when you are serious. No, I can't. So, C.B. Lim, my daughter is in a school teacher, is a school teacher and needs to conduct online class. Difficult to manage the class, some hiding behind camera, some having breakfast while attending the class with pajamas on. Many discoveries to hear the parents is actually hiding behind the camera. Ha <laughs> ha! C.B. Lim, yes. I know some parents, my kid is good. Sometimes I caught him on his online class, looking at the camera, but then has a separate window open playing games. Right or not, Zander? Right or not? Yes, yes. And sometimes you sneak in food. Yeah, teachers, I'm, it is tough. It's tough for all of us. It's tough for the teachers. It's tough for the parents. It's tough for the kids. It's, it's tough. Yeah, we're all going through the new normal. We'll have another session called Teaching, teaching and the New Normal. All right. Derek Fu says, my kids never know I'm a better chef instead of mom and grandmom. Well, they never knew you were a better chef. Oh, okay. That's cool. Am I a better chef? No, I'm not. My son just asked me, am I a better chef? No, mom is a better chef. Absolutely. 100%. Derek Fu, basically, we write, rewrite our parenting agenda. Absolutely correct. Guys, thank you so much for all this sharing. This is amazing. You're right. We have to rewrite our parenting agenda. We have to reevaluate how we see things. We have to rediscover um, not just the new norm. We discover ourselves in the new norm, how we react to things, how we handle things. It's not easy being a parent. Uh, I don't know whether all of you are parents and you're um, responding here as parents, but uh, if you are a parent, if you're not a parent, this is what we're all going through right now, parenting in the new norm. It's not something that anybody prepares you. You know what? Parenting, full stop, is not something that anybody prepares you for. You go to school, right? What you, what subjects do you have? You have Sajara, uh, Ilmu Alam, Mathematics, Science, Bahasa Malaysia, English, Art, whatever, Chemistry, Biology. There is no parenting subject in school, right? Have you noticed? No, they don't teach you. Nobody teaches you how to be a parent. And so we're going to screw it up. Yes, we are all going to screw it up. Sometimes we're going to lie and our kids will catch us out. We're not going to be the best example at all times. We're just doing the best we can. So, why? Sorry, Xander. Sorry, my son is asking me a question. I will answer that. What's the question? I'm a 
parenting subject at school? Why must there be a parenting subject at school? Come, come up here, Xander. My son has got the best questions. I told you he's got the best questions. Because people may think I'm not... What, what was that question you just asked me? Why must there be a parenting subject at school? Because, Xander... You can, you can stand over here. Don't look, at, don't look here. Look at the camera over there. Because what I'm trying to point out is that uh, in school, what school, what subjects do you have in school? We have science, social studies. We have um, Lhasa, Malaysia. We have geography. We have art. We have drama. We have math. What, how many subjects are they teaching you in school? Oh, my God. You're just eight years old. I hope, school, chill. So... But you don't have parenting, right? Because here's the thing. When you become a parent, like I'm a parent to you, I have never actually learned it anywhere. I've never learned the skill of parenting. So I'm just trying to do what I can do. And uh, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes I get angry at you when I, you know, I, I shouldn't be that angry at you, but I get angry at you. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Why am I? Wait. You want to ask something? Why? So that means you have to just go with the flow. Yes, just have to go with the flow. Parents out there. Yeah, sometimes we go with the flow and we're going to make mistakes, right? And I, I just hope that I can answer or let you know that I have made a mistake. So, Sante says, is there a paranoia among parents to take the kids out during this pandemic period? Um, my kid is out. He's here at the Joke Factory. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of parents are a little bit paranoid about getting their kids out. As Digan says, in the new norm, we have to think of new ideas to keep our kids occupied all the time, spend all the energy, think of what to cook for the, every single meal for them, have to have better connection at home, since so many laptops I press have to be online at the same time, have to attend to other questions all the time while we are in a meeting. Okay, true. Xander. Yeah, so uh, do how when it comes to watching devices and all, um, what is the arrangement between us for you to watch some, some YouTube or some TV? We have to call you first. Yeah, you have to call if you're not there to ask if you can watch. And how long do we usually let you watch? For like half an hour. Yeah, so that's how we do it in the Iskander household. Uh, they're really good, though. They do call us to ask permission to watch. And I think that's really amazing. So thank you very much uh, for being that honest. And uh, guys, if you want to ask Xander a question about parenting in the new norm, he's here. Let's answer that. Uh, you want to ask a question? You want to answer a question? Okay. So, Derek said basically we're writing a... Okay, guys. So, you know what? It's uh, 8.45. We're going to be taking a couple of questions right now. We're going to wrap this up in about five or eight or ten minutes right now. If there's any question you want to ask Xander about parenting in the new norm, or uh, we're going to take... A, do we have to take a five minute? We're going to take a five minute to choose the winner, right? Is that right? We wrap up at 8.50, so we have got four more minutes. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, dancing between here. So we're going to wrap up at 8.50. Okay, so, guys, I tell you what, this has been an absolutely amazing experience. Thank you so much for, for being your being honest out there. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. I hope that you've had as much fun as I have had up here with my boy. Thank you to Xander as well. He was not meant to be part of this. But uh, I let him stay up late tonight because it's Saturday night. Uh, and uh, he gets to stay up late on Saturday night, right? So right now, uh, Shooting says, my mom's new Norman parenting order. Go and bake a cake. If you haven't baked a cake during MCO, it's not considered as MCO. <laughs> go on. Xander, you've baked a cake. Yes. How did it go? It got burnt. It got burnt, yeah. But you try again. Never be afraid to fail. Apple Chan asked, does your daddy or mommy have more patience with you? Going to open up this question to Xander. Does daddy or mommy have more patience? Wait, so you're telling me that does daddy, does you or mommy have more patience? So who is, do you know what more, being more patient means? Yes. Okay, so does daddy or mommy more patient with you? Okay, daddy is more patient with me. Mommy is like, come on, do it. <laughs> Most of the times when I try to shuffle the card, she is, when she's not looking on her phone like she always does, she's like, 
see, because sometimes she's in a rush, even though it's like only like 20 minutes away, she's still in a rush. Because mommy's got so much to do. Do you know how hard mommy works? Mommy works, so, she makes more money, she works harder, she's, she's a workaholic. And it's all for you, my son, all for you. But uh, I tell you what, mommy loves you even more than you, because mommy is actually, in my books, more lenient with you. She gets you presents, she gets you, I'm more patient, but she gives you stuff. She's constantly buying them. We've got to get you some school shoes as well. Okay, thank you for, thank you for that answer. Okay, the new normal allows me to discover my child hidden skill in cooking various types of delicacies. My wife becomes a judge while I become the tester. Okay, guys, we have had so much fun. I've had so much fun. Thank you so much for all the answers. We are now going to take five minutes. Don't go away. Don't go away. We're going to be playing some videos because we're just going to take some five minutes to discuss internally about the best answer that we have had to the question. Um, parenting. What have you done for parent in the new norm? Parenting. And then we're going to come back and choose the winner of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. We're going to choose one winner. I hope it's you, whoever's watching. I do hope it's you. So thank you so much to Xander. One more time. High five. Rocking in. There you go. Uh, we're going to be back in five minutes. Don't go away. I'll come back and announce the winner in exactly five minutes time. Watch these videos. Go get a drink. I'll be back in five minutes. Why you? It's a tie-tie.